I told you, this thing is bigger than Nino Brown, and I got to listen. Order. If I'm going down, I'll take court. a whole lot of people with me. Order in the court. Nino Brown Boxing, I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So I just want to make this quick video, and I want to talk about Sean Porter's recent comments calling Earl Spence fake. See, this is strange to me because Sean Porter has been talking about how Earl Spence is getting out of character. He's being fake. But Earl Spence kept the same energy in his first title shot. And... And I'm talking about when he was the trash talk with Kell Brook. And you're talking about an Earl Spence that was out of his atmosphere. He was he was in Kell Brook's backyard. And just just when it comes to the um, the trash talk and the back and forth, Earl Spence definitely held his own. But it always it always slipped Sean Porter's mind in these interviews and you know in these PBC shows that Earl Spence fought the man that took your belt. And it's like a narrative that is extremely odd that is never brought up. And I understand it's a PBC, um, PBC show in that capacity. But even people interviewing Sean Porter and it's outside of um, the PBC realm. The Kell Brook fight told us a lot about Earl Spence Jr. It told us a lot. I mean, Earl Spence, some people say, well, Earl Spence, that wasn't a tough fight for Earl. And my thing is, it absolutely was. Earl, I mean, Kell Brook was the more experienced fighter. Kell Brook had Sean Porter on his uh, on his resume, and so let's, it's just odd to hear, especially Team Porter, say these things about Earl Spence Jr. When Earl Spence beat the man that took Sean's belt, and I know these talking points. If it's discussed, if it's brought up by Earl, if it's brought up by um, Derek James. It was brought up by the interviewer. It, ultimately, it doesn't matter because it's not going to change anything in the fight. But for me, I'm looking at it more of a, just from a, um, like just a mental perspective. And I know Sean Porter is well aware that he lost to Kell Brook, even though Kenny Porter and I mean, may not hear Kenny Porter this in some serious denial about it. And he talks about how all uh, Kell Brook did was hold on the inside. But my thing is, even with that logic, I mean, Kenny, holding on the inside when a guy is fighting dirty, I mean, it's just a, um, it's just a strategy, and it's your responsibility to nullify that. And the same way how they have this port of pressure, it's Earl Spencer's responsibility to nullify that as well. But my thing is, it's, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, it's, I can't say it's odd because it's to be expected. I, I don't expect a team Porter to come out and say, uh, say things that are in Earl Spence's favor. But I do expect the other people that are presenting the questions, like the lady on the PBC show asked Earl Spence. She said, Earl, how do you expect to knock out Sean when um, you didn't knock out Mikey? Now, we all understand style makes fights. We all understand that Mikey was in there to survive. We all understand that. Sean Porter going in this fight, he's also a champion. He doesn't have a built-in excuse. But if you're going to bring up what happened in the previous fight with Earl Spence and Mikey Garcia, why not bring up what happened in the previous fight with Sean Porter and Kell Brook? Kell, um, basically, I would have presented the question of um, Sean Porter, how do you feel that you're going to beat Earl Spence Jr. when you couldn't beat Kell Brook? And Earl went to his backyard and he stopped him. I mean, it's a fair question. So it's just one of those things where I see what the PBC is doing. They're definitely at a point where it's like they want to keep everything PBC. And I understand that the talking points ultimately don't decide the fight. But at this point when we're strictly conversing, it, def it definitely is an entertainment factor when Sean Porter is put on the spot and he's presented with questions on the same level that Errol Spence is presented with questions with. And once again, it just brings me back to, I want to like, I want to deep dive into Errol Spence's perspective of Sean Porter when it comes to comparing um, Sean Porter versus Kell Brook and Errol Spence versus Kell Brook. Like, well, Sean, what, 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 what was it about Earl Spence 
that he was able to um he was able to nullify Kell Brook. He wasn't he wasn't overpowered by him. What was it about Errol Spence that allowed him to stop Kell Brook in his backyard? What was it about Earl Spence that was able to maintain the mental stability to go over to the UK in a hostile environment and bring the belt back home that you lost? I want Sean Porter to answer those questions. I mean, um, to my understanding, there will be a press conference before the fight. Hey, man, I won't be at the, I won't be in no press conference. I'm gonna be on the East Coast when all that happens. I'll definitely be in the DMV. But if Sean, I mean, if Earl Smith can be asked questions regarding Mikey Garcia, Sean Porter should be asked questions when it comes to the whole when it comes to the Kell Brook fight. Sean Porter should be asked questions of, well, how do you? I mean, Sean, how do you feel that you can hold up? against um, Earl Spence's power because we've seen, you know, we've seen you affect, you have seen your knees buckle. We've seen you get knocked down by a punch from Ugas and the ref didn't call it. I mean, it was a PBC event. They can pull up the footage. PBC should be able to pull up the footage and put Sean on the spot like they put Earl on the spot. Sean Porter, you're not perfect in this situation. The only thing that you can say about Earl Spence Jr., is he didn't knock out a guy that he dominated for 12 rounds. That's literally the only negative thing that they can say when it comes to boxing, what happened in the ring. But even with that, this is the same man that didn't stop Mikey, but stopped the man that beat you. Find that odd. Those questions need to be presented to Sean Porter. And, yeah, man, just simply for our entertainment. For our entertainment, but... We'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a couple of more interviews, a press conference leading up to the fight. They're going to have some trash talk at the weigh-in. I already can tell Earl Spence is at a point where he's already annoyed, he's pissed off. But I want Sean Porter to ask those same tough questions as well. It's Nina Brown Boxing, y'all. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I'm out.